Hey, what's up, guys? This is a video that I agreed uh, to uh, do. It's a Yamaha RX 1040 a Vintage AVR receiver. Um, you know, I've always thought these unboxing videos are a little, little corny, you know, but uh, I'm going to do one. And uh, fortunately, I already opened it before I decided to go ahead and just do it. I, I, I undid the tape, etc. So I set up the camera. Here we are. I, uh, I'm not an audioholic at all. Um, I don't presume to know everything there is to know about audio, video, home video, home audio, etc. But I have been around. Uh, I own several receivers. Uh, this one, for example, is going to go in this room, the game room. It's going to replace a Sony DN840 uh, receiver that I bought up. I got it about a year ago at Best Buy. I love that AVR. I'll tell you what, it's powerful. It's awesome. It, it runs my speakers. It pushes them to the limit, let me tell you. My system are two Polk Audios, Polk Audio Towers. TSI 400s. I got a uh, CS20 Polk Audio Center. I got uh, two TSI 100s for surround sounds, surround speakers correction. And I got two rears, which they're Onkyo bookshelves. And I got two subs, two Polk Audio PSW 10s. So this bad boy. It's going to go right in here. This Sony DN840 is going to go in the living room system, which has two JBL E90 tower speakers. It has uh, a Polk Audio CS10 center. It's got two uh, audiophile LTR towers as surrounds. And I have two front highs not two rears, two front highs in the living room that are Onkyo bookshelves. So the, uh, my Sony DN840 is going to go in there. The one that's in the living room, which is an Onkyo HTR 590, I believe. Yeah, 590. That's going to go in the garage system. The garage system has two Infinity speakers. Uh, uh, what are they? Infinity SM152s. And I got a Sony Center. And several surrounds, Onkyo surrounds that are all over the, the entertainment center there in the garage. I usually use that system for pay-per-views, barbecues, washing cars, etc. So the living room Onkyo, the 590 is going to go in the, in the garage. And the Onkyo, I think it's an HTR 540 that's in the garage, is just going to sit there for a while so I figure out what to do with it. All right, so here we go. So like I said, I took the, the tape off. Here we go. This is the unboxing. So here's the all the forms. See what we got here. So we got RX A1040 owner's manual. There we go. The disc. So we got a Yamaha Worldwide representative offices. Phone numbers galore. Spotify. Maybe we'll get some. Uh, some free music out of that. Maybe a few free songs if I'm lucky. Okay. Sorry guys, this thing's tipping over here. All right, so there's Spotify. And we got Yamaha. It's like a quick start guide, setup guide. Okay. We got a safety brochure, you know, how to Trying not to electrocute myself. We got a quick guide for multi zone instructions. Register your Yamaha product. Warranty. Now, I'm not too big on warranties, man. I've never had the, a reason to use them, I guess you could say. This bad boy, I got it replaced through my DirecTV Premier Protection Plan. It's an awesome plan. 
I pay 25 bucks a month. I've been doing it for, I think, uh, several years now. They already replaced a, a Samsung TV that went out. And my Sony STR-DH800 AVR receiver went out. So I sent it in. Paid them 50 bucks deductible. And they, they told me to choose from three receivers. I chose this one over an Onkyo and a Denon. So that's how this bad boy came to be. All right. AM antenna. This is the, the setup for the speakers for the system. I believe, don't quote me, the Yamaha, I think it's called a W, I mean a YPAO, I believe it is. It's like the Odyssey. Uh, many people on the forums, when I say forums, I mean uh, AVS, uh, uh, Home Theater Shack, Home Theater Forum, Audioholics. Many people were saying that this sucks compared to Odyssey. But then again, a lot of those Odyssey people who said that, they're, I, I think they safe to assume that they're Odyssey groupies. Uh, so I'll be the judge of this when I try it out. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm not going to hook it up tonight with y'all watching. I'll hook it up sometime uh, in a little while after I'm done here. But I'll definitely come back and repost on this, uh, repost some more videos as far as how the system's running. How it's working, how it sounds, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so here we go. Wireless antenna, and this this bad boy is going to be hooked up wirelessly. Power cord and FM little FM antenna, which I have my own. Won't be using this. Batteries, AAA, Panasonic. Why Panasonic? Why not Duracell or Energizer? Who knows? And uh, here we go. The remote. Here's the remote. Okay. Sorry, there's too much glare. Not too bad. Not too big. You know. Here's my Sony DN840 remote. Not too bad. It's about the same size. It don't bother me at all, man. Let me tell you that much. Here we go. So not too bad. All right. Let's take this bad boy out. Let's turn this so I can sit it on, sit it on it, so I can check out the rear and the front. And yes, it's heavy. That's for sure. It's a heavy boy right here. Okay. So, sorry about that. I don't know if it went black. This MacBook is on. I don't know what's wrong with it. Anyway, here we go, man. That's the rear. Wireless connection. RJ45 network connection. It's got seven HDMI ends in the back, one in the front for a total of eight, which is awesome. I got the out. And I got another out right here, which I believe is for an extra monitor. And then the DC out, which I'm assuming is like for an iPod or an iPad. I'm really not sure what that's for. I'm guessing this is also like for a PC connection. Remote in and out. Trigger out one and two. Component video. Composite video. It's got your opticals, which I won't use. It's got your FM antenna connection there. Front speakers, center speakers, zone two front presence, extra speaker connections, surround back, and surround. Got your subwoofer, one and two for my subs, and pre-outs, and zone outs. Oh, yeah. So that's the, that's the back. Let's look at the front. There we go. Sorry about the glare. So there we go, a vintage. You push it in, nope. Pull it out, yes, there we go. We got all our presets in there, the tuning, memory, scenes, multi-zones, program, the extra HDMI, iPod, iPad connection, etc. Oh yeah, man, what can I say? I'm a very happy camper right now, man. Did I say thanks to DirecTV? Thank you, DirecTV. Okay, guys. Here you go, man.
that's the Yamaha Aventage RX A1040. Cannot wait to hook it up and see how it sounds. All right, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed it. My first video, by the way, just in case I didn't mention that. So I don't expect for it to be glorified. But there you go, man. Hope you all enjoy it. I will repost more videos. I will look at the comments, try and answer any, any questions you all might have. See if I can answer it to the best of my ability. And I'll be honest with the review. But I've read my own reviews about this bad boy, and they're, they're nothing but good. So I'll check back, man. So from the great state of Texas, just in case you don't believe me, great state of Texas, there's my Polk Audio TSI 100 surround. And over there in the back are my two onkyos, the rears. All right. So we'll see you. I'll check back. Carry on.